Gang. Welcome back now here to help you kick off the week right. Marcus Bean is back in the kitchen. Dishing out the ultimate budget-friendly, delighted to hear it, comfort food, <laughs> his three bean chilli. Marcus, I've never been behind the, the cooking bit before, so... Yes, you know, yeah, it's quite a lot of ingredients. You've been nibbling on some of those already. I, you can't have food in front of you well, like that and not eat it. Exactly. So we're going to do a three bean chilli, and this is a really, as you said, it's a budget-friendly recipe. It's a great sort of family one, perfect for the beginning of the week. Kids are back at school, put everything in a pan, don't have to worry too much. You've got to cook it for a long period of time. Now, we're doing it with three different types of beans, make it vegetarian, but, of course, you could add some mince into this if you wanted to. So... First thing to start is the base. So I'm going to do some onions and then some red peppers and a bit of garlic, OK? And okay. then we've got some other little toppings, which I might even get, as it's your first day in the kitchen, Martin, I might get you to do. So we're going to do a little tomato salsa here. Okay. So this is to give you that sort of fresh element, because these are quite rich and smoky and we want something cold. You need to be very specific with me or That's I will right. get this wrong. <laughs> Not all of that. OK. <laughs> That's what I'll say. Uh, so a little splash of that, probably about a sort of tablespoon splash. if you want. And then we've got some I'm tomato, making... spring onion, and we've also got some coriander and red onion. And you're going to put that into there. I'm about little... mixing it up or Yeah, not? a little bit of touch of seasoning, a little bit of salt, okay. and Do then you can squeeze <clears throat> some lime juice in there as well. Do you cook at home, Martin? I not very. Do. I have. Oh, no, no, Marcus, 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 sorry. <laughs> Martin, yeah, Marcus. we saw we guessed yeah. that. No offense. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I'm not the biggest cook out there. I have certain things I make, you know, the classic spag bol. I've got a good chicken soup That's that I do. One, yeah. And, you know, a, a special uh, Saturday sandwich I make for my daughter, which I, I do. Which What's is in a, the Saturday sandwich? That's uh, good. It, it's got some chicken in it, it's got some garlic mayo. I throw lots of other. It's a classic yeah, leftover nice. type stuff that we well, throw in there. Which but those, those sorts of dishes are great because you can bring everything together. She says it's her that's... favourite thing she eats, but I think that's just because she loves her daddy. She loves it. So, um, onto here. So, I've got the onions, the garlic, and the red peppers, which are cooking down. I'm then going to add a little bit of spice. So, we've got some ground cumin, mm. one of my favourite ingredients, smoked paprika. Oh, yeah. It just adds a bit of smokiness and it's sort of, you can get sweet or a smoky, uh, spicy variety. So you've got a couple of options if you don't like the heat in this. This goes in, and then I'm going to add into here uh, my tomatoes. So this is just a tin of chopped tomatoes, and then we've got three different types of beans. Again, you can use any beans you want for this. That's kidney, is it? Kidney beans. We've got bolotti beans nice. oh. and cannellini beans. So you nice. can use any variety. If you've got butter beans at home, I love butter you want beans. To They're my Add favorite. all those in. And, and beans are interesting because there's a lot of talk at the moment about how we don't eat enough beans, they're really good for our gut health and it's, it's, it's Very a good food group, a food type that yeah, uh, people under-eat. Well, also, days. I think people tend to sort of just think of beans and don't put much flavour in. Anything you infuse with flavour in is going to taste great. So, for me, making something like a chilli like this is just absolutely perfect. So, once everything's cooked down, you've got that. Just have a little taste of that sauce, just make sure it's balanced. So, if it needs a little bit of acidity, such as salt, a little bit extra in there. I'm going to put some... I literally have no idea what that means. <laughs> it tastes nice to me. Does that work? If that's it, exactly okay, that. Fine. If it tastes good, it's Do you done. want to try, Joseph? No, yeah, give Joseph a try. Spoon, don't worry. Lovely. So we've got some tomato puree going in here, some chipotle paste, which is like a smoked um, pepper paste. And then I've also got a couple of stock cubes, More which salt. you can just crumble in here. I think you're going to be the new family chef. Is that <laughs> it? Look at that, straight in there. And then the other thing, because I want, I like a bit of texture, I'm getting some of these lovely corn tortillas, and you can just use sort of the, the, the wheat ones as well if you want. A little bit of um, oil on them, and then a touch of salt. And all I've done is just chop those up in slices into the oven. And these just give like a little crispy, nice texture to the top of it. Um, we've got on those sides, I tell you what, I might get actually, actually just, you're only good with a knife. <laughs> oh, be careful. Yeah, I'm going to get you to chop away. Just Be very careful carefully chop that little how, chili how in there. How small do you want it chopped? Uh, well, you know, if you've been making your sandwich, I'm sure. Yeah, you perfect. Look at that. Done. Make sure Excellent. you wash your hands. Out. Now, if this gets a bit thick, you can just add a little touch of water into it just to let it down. I'm going to grab the uh, the fried. Now you I'm can fry like these the in a little pan. Look at that. Looking fabulous. I'm going to get the plates up and we can start serving this one. So we made this a little bit earlier. Now, this generally takes around about 30 to 40 minutes. If, of course, anyone wants to try this at home... Look at that. Watching, Mar watching Martin chop a chilli is quite painful. <laughs> <laughs> He's going like that. Right, Josie, I'm going to give you a quick one. I need to play my so, right. Josie. <laughs> Near the food, I'm walking away. <laughs> don't rub, you, don't rub no, your eyes. I don't want to show yeah, off, right. but if you just hold this bit of the knife and do that... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it, and it would chop, that. you know... I know you can't be good at everything, but... So what's the best credit card on the market, <laughs> love? All right. <laughs> <laughs> We work to our strengths, we work to our strengths. <laughs> so, um, the other thing we're going to do is make a very quick little sour cream. So, just in front of you is a bowl of double cream. Yeah. And I want you to squeeze the lemon juice in. So, lots of people buy sour cream, and actually it's really simple to make at home. Lemon juice, a little bit of salt, double cream, whip it together, and that's it, sour cream done. Have you, you done go. the salt, or do I need to add the salt? Uh, no, you need to add that little touch of salt. So, I'm just okay. going to start plating this, and we're going to then start to garnish it ready for us to have a little taste. Oh, the smell of this is just delicious. 
I'll carry on. But again, carry on with the getting chocolate. a little bit uh, fruity in the studio later. <laughs> Everything. Perfect. See, and then when you put the lemon juice I'm in. Running, I'm running home after the studio, so. Oh, that, you'll be running so seriously. So the beans will be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Straight in there. No one's near enough to keep up with me. Rich Joseph, look at that. Oh, there Skills. we go. There we go. Skills. I'm not going to show off, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Right. That's enough. That's all done. Perfect, Martin. I so this properly. now we're just going to chop a little bit of this. Look at that chopping. Coriander over the top. Look at that. I want and lessons then, on the chopping. Forget the cooking. I want the chopping there we lessons. Are. Let's go a little bit on here on the top. So I love the coriander. And the thing with coriander is don't over chop it. Now it sounds a bit strange that, but basically you don't want to over chop it. The reason being is because you can bruise the coriander and it goes a bit bitter. Oh, so okay. you want to keep well, it. It actually just chop... changes the flavour if you mm. over chop it. Yeah, so anything that's soft like basil or coriander, just chop it very gently, chop it once. Don't do that thing you just see the chefs do, chopping over the time because it bruises it. And then cream. What about my we'll chilies then, Mark? We're going to go chilies on top. Cream. Right. Right. With the... cream on there, look at this. And then you can, you're going to garnish with those. Look my cream this. before your chilli. Here we go. Right, pop your, sprinkle your chilies on top. Oh, you're, they're just at oh, all. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Get your knife and Thank fork Thank you. There. there we are, straight into that. OK. Let's and have a little go on this. little crumb over the top for the bit of crunchy texture. Oh, coming in here, Josie. There is a little bit of cheese as well, if you like a bit of cheese mm. on there. Oh, oh, it's really so smoky. Cool. So you get that smoky, so smoky oh, flavour. Flavour. Remember, the recipe's all online, so you can try this at home. That's actually but perfect. And, and this really, works really out about, about 75, 75p a portion. Yeah. So really, really cheap and delicious. And when, once you've made it, well, you can freeze it and re Freeze it, it, store it. This will keep in the fridge for a few days. So I always think if you do it in advance, next day it always tastes so much better as well. Great if you're meal planning. Really exactly. good to get it done in the meal perfect. planning. Perfect. Thanks, Marcus Bean, with my your pleasure. bean chilli. For details of my... I can't... I've got food in my mouth. Oh, sorry. Doing this. Yeah, if you want details of Marcus's recipe, mm. check it all out on our free This Morning app. It is competition time.